All right, here we're going to talk about finding the center of mass of a thin plate. And to find uh, the value for x bar, we take 1 over the area of the region, and then we calculate the definite integral from a to b of x times the function f of x. And to figure out y bar, we do 1 over the area, and then integrate from a to b 1 half of f of x quantity squared. So here we're going to find the center of mass of this little triangular region. So the y-intercept at 6, x-intercept at 3. Usually the first thing I do is go ahead and calculate the area since uh, we need that for both x-bar and y-bar. So, you know, normally to figure out the area in this case, we would integrate, we would do the top curve minus the bottom curve, at least uh, that's what I would do in this case, integrate with respect to x. Um, you would actually have to figure out an equation for the line, but that's not, you know, hopefully too terrible. You've got the y-intercept, and you can figure out the slope pretty easily. But, of course, this is just a triangle, so we can use one-half base times height. Well, the base has a width of 3, the height has a, uh, a height of 6. So, okay, so we'll get 3 times 6, which is 18 over 2. That'll give us 9. So now we have uh, that A equals 9. So, And it says to get our value for X bar, we take 1 over the area, and we integrate from A to B of X times our function. So we would have 1 over 9, the integral from... Well, let's see, our limits of integration will be from 0 to 3. We'll do x times our function. Well, okay, um, here we'll, we'll, I guess we'll actually figure it out. So y equals mx plus b. Our b value is 6. I guess our slope, we're going down 6 and to the right, 3. So down 6 and over 3, that looks like negative 2x plus 6 to me is the slope or I guess negative 2 is the slope, so the equation of the line would be negative 2x plus 6. So that's what I'm going to plug in here. And now it's just a matter of computing this. So we've got 1 ninth, the integral from 0 to 3. I'm going to distribute and just rewrite this. So x times 6 will be uh, 6x. We'll have minus, it looks like 2x squared dx. So not a terrible, uh, terrible integral to evaluate. So let's see, the antiderivative of 6x, we'll get 6x squared over 2, or 3x squared. We'll get minus 2x to the third over 3. And now we have to evaluate this from 0 to 3. So when we plug in 3, we'll get 3 times 3 squared minus two-thirds times three cubed. And then when we plug in zero, we'll just get a couple zeros for our lower limits of integration. So let's see, uh, this is really three, so three squared times three is three cubed, which is 27. Um, three cubed over three, that's three squared, which would be nine times two would be 18. Well, 27 minus 18 is just going to give us 9. And then if we do 1 ninth times 9, we'll get 1. So it says x bar is going to be equal to the value 1. <clears throat> and again, geometrically, what that is saying, and you could maybe even figure this out from geometry, um, you know, certainly there's got to be a, a, a geometric way to figure this out. But anyway, what this says is, it says if you were, you know, if you imagine um, having this little triangle, you know, uh, like a little piece of metal or, or whatever, if you were to stick your pen at the line x equals 1, you would find that this object would exactly balance. So again, we're finding uh, kind of a, uh, in this case, not the center of mass, but we're finding the x-coordinate of the center of mass. So, okay, I think I'll stop this one here, and I'll compute y-bar in a separate video.